Radiation was released after the Natanz nuclear facility was struck. Now the world's watching, and here's why it matters. On 13 June 2025, Israeli airstrikes, part of Operation Rising Lion, targeted the Natanz, causing significant damage to above ground structures. Natanz is a nuclear enrichment facility, all right? And here's how this process works. So you're gonna start off with yellow cake, which is a powdered form of uranium oxide. And that's gonna get converted into a gas form called uranium hexafluoride. Using high-speed centrifuges, you spin the gas and it separates its isotopes. You're targeting uranium-235, the isotope needed to fuel or in extreme cases, weaponize. The higher the concentration, the more dangerous it becomes. Now, here's the problem. Once it's been enriched, that gas is stored inside a pressurized containment vessel. When the facility was hit, radiation was released because one or more of those vessels likely ruptured. It's not on the scale of a reactor meltdown, but it's still hazardous, destabilizing, and globally condemned. Now you understand why the international rule is simple. You just don't attack nuclear facilities, ever. Drop a rad emoji and let me know your thoughts on striking nuclear facilities, and then like and subscribe for more.